Hi, my name is Wing Liang. Welcome to the Aragon uh, Watch Review. And today we are going to talk about a long time design, uh, a very recognizable design uh, in the Aragon collection. Um, and it's called the Millipede. And for those of you who've never heard of the story, how I came up with that, uh, is the inspiration came from the Millipede, of course. You know, I named the watch with a lot of legs. So when we get a close up, you understand it. This is the first time you see this watch. Um, so all the screws on the bracelet, okay, are truly functional. And you can uh, use, um, uh, you know, your pliers to uh, turn them counterclockwise to remove uh, the screws and the bar. Uh, but I do have to say one thing to remind everybody. I, I'm going to remind everybody again and again is make sure after you receive the watch, make sure you use your tools to tighten each of the screw and you know both sides of the screws after you size the bracelet. Let me rephrase that. After you size the bracelet, make sure you check every single one, okay? From the top to the bottom, check every single screw and lock them tight. Um, this is my suggestion to you because there is a difference between using a clipping pins and there's a difference between using the screws for sizing. The screws, when, they, when the links move, it will adjust and move the screwdriver, you know, the screw and the and the bars. Okay. So anyway, um, so again, I want to talk about the millipede design. Is there's not much changes uh, with the millipede design. The reason why I say that is, I've been trying to think hard, long and hard, how to come up with um, fresh ideas to uh, expand the collection. But this design is so significant, it's so recognizable. Um, so I, you know, after long thinking, the only thing I can do is to, you know, is to design a new bezel. But we keep the base of the case and the bracelet. Um, and, and the bezel is the only thing I could think of because it's, to me, it's such a perfect design um, that I don't need to change anything at all. So <clears throat> this is brand new to the millipede with the spinning dial, okay? Uh, a few days ago, I made a post and asked everybody, what would you name this millipede? A lot of people came up with excellent ideas. You know, uh, a majority of everyone was saying time machine because time machine was another collection um, that also had a spinning dial. So this is it. This is the millipede. I have not come up with the final name for this collection and let's just call it Aragon Millipede for now. It's automatic movement, uh, SI NX35, okay? And, um, and we added one more size. So two sizes available is the uh, 43 and the 48, okay? Now, they're both approximately 17 millimeter in thickness. And for the 43 millimeter, the bracelet width Remember, including the screws, they are 30 millimeter wide, okay? And then for the 48 millimeter, the, the width of the bracelet is 32 plus a little bit. Uh, that also including the screws, okay? So let's come in. These are really cool colors, and, um, and I hope you like it. And please subscribe to our channel, give us a like. And also share our video with your friends. I know there's a lot of watch enthusiasts out there. And, uh, and, and just our Aragon is getting uh, bigger and stronger. And we are one of the small company, I call it. We're small. Uh, and we're happy to small because our quality is incredible. Um, the design is incredible. And we have... Uh, one to a few designs, fresh, brand new designs per month. Yes, we're small and we're proud of it. So let's talk about Millipede. So we have three colors, okay? So now this is the aluminum bezel, reflective blue, okay? And the middle one is black with the blades in charcoal. Okay, so now this one is a silver, what we call the silver. So blue, charcoal, 
and silver, but the bezel is in uh, Pepsi, what everybody likes to call that, red and blue, okay? Now, there are 30 blades, and then these are all spinning dials. I'm gonna show it to you later. And now I wanna show you the uh, 43 millimeter. They're both identical, same thing, 30 blades in silver. Color-wise, they're all identical. The case and the bracelet are in mirror polished finish. And let me show you from the profile. These are all the details, okay? These are all the details about this watch. CNC machine cut, two grooves to run across from 12 to six o'clock position. Same thing over here at the nine o'clock position. And I think one thing I wanna demonstrate to everybody is how easily it is to size the bracelet. Now, I'm gonna remind you again, please make sure you check and lock every single screws, okay? From top to bottom, from link number one to link all the way down, okay? Make sure you lock it. There you go. See, that's how easily it is to size it. Once you remove the links, as many as you need, you just put it back. Okay, I'm doing this upside down, so it might be difficult. So, all right, so let me try it again. Connect it. I hope you enjoy our videos, and please share our videos with all your friends. And now, this is the proper way to uh, fix it, you know, you know uh, to size the bracelet. So I may suggest if you want this to be permanent, you can go to any hardware store and get the Loctite blue, not the green, but the Loctite blue. You know, just like a small drop, like a tiny, tiny, just touch the screw and then screw it in and it will, you, it will be secure forever, okay? So I just wanna show you that. And then I wanna show you the case back of the watch with the exhibition case back, look at this. Solid deploying clasp, I hope you like this. So. And then you can see the rotor. And now the next thing I want to do is show you what it does, why we enjoy this watch. Look, it's nonstop spinning. So the way how we do it is um, there's multiple dials. On the bottom of the dial, we have the vertical texture dial. And on top of this is a blade, spinning blades, 30 individual blades, okay? With a high canyon hour, minute, and second hand. The dial is super, super thick. I just want you to know that. That's the reason why the watch is approximately 17 millimeter in, in thickness. It wears very well. I want to tell you, it wears very comfortably, okay? I am gonna show you the 43. Look, it's a very distinguishable design. Uh, I love it, so I hope everybody enjoys it the same way I do. So be, be prepared. If you get stopped and people ask you, what kind of watch are you wearing? Where did you get this? There's really not a bad color, okay? Um, I know many of you will be buying all three. And you know who I'm talking about, Howard. <laughs> you always do. You always collect every single one of our um, colors. And the last one I'm gonna show you to is the blue. It, this is very different blue, very, very deep blue. We always call this the reflective, nice, very nice looking, okay? So a screw down crown, super, uh, make sure you lock the crown again um, and the water will not go inside, okay? So just wanna make sure, so after you lock it, push it in and lock the crown, okay? These are all dive grade, professional dive grade dive watches, all right? So. This is it. This is, uh, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. And uh, don't miss out on the intro price because the intro price is always very, uh, you know, very attractive. And once the intro price goes away and it's just gonna go back to the normal price and you're just gonna pay a lot, a lot more. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video once again and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.